Hey family, yes, I am back and I would like to talk about this Pisces and full moon that is coming up. I'm excited about it because I'm a Pisces, so I love anything Pisces because I know the depth in which Pisces really goes. Um, when you think about Pisces energy, Pisces energy is strongly intuitive. It embodies a lot of different characteristics, which gives it a strong consciousness of how to be, do, operate. You think of the High Priestess card. The High Priestess card is just a representation of that inner knowing, that inner will, inner power. It's like we see things with a different type of frame. And that is the exact same thing in which you'll be experiencing with this full moon. Full moons are about releasing, recreating. It's like really going into the body and rebuilding from scratch. So getting, getting right into this reading, we're going to be talking about first... This here, this is a nice mudra as well for you to be using during this time to kind of balance yourself and keep yourself, um, to keep yourself balanced and not overtaken by all of the things that's happening. Because what we're seeing with this Pisces moon is there are great things coming for us. But before you get to the end goal where the success is and all of the celebrating happens, you have to go through that process of filtering out the things that are not needed or the things that are preventing or being a guard for the success. So some of the things that you'll be experiencing with this Pisces full moon, I took a few notes because it was a lot of information, right? I got a lot of downloads. Some of the major, major, major things of this Pisces full moon is higher perceptions, multi-dimensional direction, flow of grace, cosmic, cosmic switch. I don't know why my chin just want to act crazy. Alchemy and supreme protection. So they're going to be upgrades in our inner power for positive shifts for our circumstances. Things you can see, touch, feel, and experiences. Your experiences right now in this time are trying to be elevated for you because you've done a lot of work. And simply put, when we go through different circumstances that we cannot control, those circumstances create a completely new person. And because you withstood all of the things that were coming at you, you get a trophy for that. You get some type of recognition for that because a lot of people are not able to really go through tough times and still have a heart of gold or... <coughs> or still believe in the impossible. So, this card right here is talking to us about um, staying in our power. What you wanna do throughout now and leading up to the full moon, what you really wanna be focused on and what you really want to understand, what spirit wants you to know is anything that is lacking in your life that shall be provided. There is a tendency for the human nature to automatically rule out possibilities because circumstances seem more heavy, more in their face and more to the forefront than the success does. Success in whatever level that you desire to see in your life. But spirit is telling you to keep your eyes on the prize. There is nothing that is happening in your life right now, whether it be mentally, whether it be emotionally, whether it be physically, whether it be something that you can see around you. There's nothing that's happening in your life right now that is going to prevent you from that end goal. So it is in your best interest to keep that end goal, the primary energy, the primary focus, the things that come in between us having different types of um, circumstances are only the conditioning processes that are required. You cannot go to kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and then go to high school. 
you have missed a huge amount of information that is valuable for you to even have the understanding and knowledge to hold a seat in a classroom of a high school in order for you to bring out the grades, bring out what is needed for you to be successful. This is what spirit is saying. There are some things that are still needed in order for you to be successful. So as situations arise within your life, those situations are not meant for you to plant seeds of doubt. These situations are meant to teach you, direct you, and show you how you should, who you should be, where you should be based upon the things that you've gone, what you've gone through. And it could be frustrating because we may have been in our transitional periods for some time, but the spirit is speaking to you, letting you know that spirit does not work on your time. Spirit does not work in the 3D. Spirit works on 5D. And even if it takes a while for things to start progressing in your life, do not give up. Do not get discouraged. Do not start wondering when is it my time? What is happening for me? Like, is anything that I ever do good enough? Spirit is saying, yes, it is. And if you would continue down your path, you'll understand that what I have for you is greater than what it is that you think is coming. This is the reason why I am allowing things to happen for you. This is a purpose type energy. I am putting and placing situations in your life on your path for purpose. While it does not feel like purpose and while it feels like a setback and while it feels like this is just too much, this is exactly the antidote that spirit is using in order to move you from one place to the next place. Um, yes, I wrote in my notes when I was meditating, the bridge is being built. The bridge is being built. So here's you, here's your manifestations. What you can't see is there is a bridge connecting my two hands together and that is spirit letting you know the bridge is being built and that bridge is solid. It shall not crash. It shall not fall. It don't matter how many pounds that you take across that bridge. It's not going to fall. But you have to trust me and your ability to trust spirit in these moments and in this time of this bridge being constructed is vital. If you're unable to trust and if you become overwhelmed with the happenings, excuse me, if you become overwhelmed with the workings of the divine, then you're going to delay the process. You're going to delay the bridge of being completed. Allow all of your distractions, whatever is distracting you right now. And it does not have to be something that is outside of your body. A lot of times we distract our own selves with our emotions, with our thinking, with how we perceive things. Whatever is causing distractions in your life, eliminate it. Habits, patterns, conversations, associations, the type of things that you're thinking and allowing your vibration to embody Eliminate these things now because anything that is in your life that is a distraction right now is going to be um, like poison to your path and you do not want that. What is happening in this moment and this time right now is it is time for you to understand what truly matters to me. What is an upgrade for me? If this path that I'm on is not the path that <clears throat> resonates with my vibration, then what exactly does that path look like? And it is your responsibility and your due diligence to stay in alignment with what it is that you want. Bypass any obstacle, bypass anything that you can see with your eye, that you can hear with your ears, that you can smell. Bypass these things if they are not in alignment with what it is that you desire. And it is very important that if you don't know what you desire or if you are not focused on what you desire or if what you desire seems to not motivate you anymore like it used to, that you get back in tune with the things that you desire. This is a very important time to know the direction in which you choose or desire to go. As I said, multi-dimensional direction. And what this means, anything that you desire, that you wish and you want for yourself, the spirit is here to give it to you on a platter. But the spirit will not give you something if you're not 
in the energy to be able to maintain it and sustain it. That's point blank period. And if you are not learning the lessons that spirit is providing you with these circumstances, with these situations, then you're going to continually repeat them in a loop. You're going to continuously loop. And a lot of people feel like they've been in a loop for a while, but you have to start asking yourself, is there a different way to look at my situation? Is there a different way to feel about my situation? Are there different thoughts that I can give this moment that will be able to allow me to have a new perspective? Because what's happening with this Pisces full moon is the same thing as if you say, hey, I'm going to go on a shopping spree. I want a completely new wardrobe. I want a completely new whatever. It doesn't matter whatever it is that you desire. If you are looking at a completely new wardrobe, what are some things that you do? You start to remove the old clothes that you will no longer wear anymore to make room for the new clothes. And this is exactly what the Pisces moon, full moon is doing. It is asking you to release the things that are no longer a part of your vibration, no longer serving you, no longer allowing you to feel like we all, so we're in this energy right now where we feel that change is needed. Wherever that you feel that that change is needed, go ahead and start mapping out solutions for the type of desires, the type of return that you want. You know what it is that you want. And if you do not know what you want, you need to be meditating. You need to be spending time away from other people. You need to go into hermit mode and really have a deep understanding of what it is that I want. I don't want to be motivated. I don't want to be making decisions and moves based upon competition with someone else, based upon um, maybe some deep subconscious processing. I want to be making decisions based upon the path that the universe has already prepared for me because it's waiting for you right now. Uh, allowing the mind to settle. There's a lot of mental chatter. And there, that's not a bad thing. But it can become a bad thing when the mental chatter turns into um, doubt. Or turns into you turning your back on the things that you believe or the situations that you're in. Do not turn your back on yourself in this time because what is happening is you have to be the one to go get the old clothes out. You got to be the one to go get the old clothes out the closet. You got to be the one to go shop for the new clothes. You can't send a stylist. No, you have to do it. And you do not need to be afraid of picking the wrong things. This is not the time for that. Spirit is multi-dimensional direction that is being provided for you. So you're not going to be going into directions where, what if I mess up? What if this is not the right spirit? Is again, supreme protection. Spirit is protecting you from all faucets. So if something is not working, you keep running into a wall. Look at it as supreme protection. We have the world card here. The world card is talking about a sense of renewal and restoration after destruction. I like to think about mcdonald's right you know when mcdonald's start reconstructing how they looked before and how they look now this is exactly what is happening for you i, I don't know about y'all but the mcdonald's of the street i used to do uber eats and when i went in there it was literally it looked crazy like they had plastic everywhere yellow caution tape you can only walk in a certain area you can't be in this area and now when you go in there, it is a completely new vibe. Like they did a completely amazing design of how it looks. It's like they wanted to elevate and upgrade the dining experience. And what is happening with this world card is that's the same thing that is happening with you. You are getting an elevation of an experience, not only with the world around you, but with yourself, who you are at your core. There is a sense of graduation upgrade that's why we feel consumed by our own energy that's how we know that it's time for us to do something different you have graduated and it's now time for you to integrate that knowledge that wisdom that power that you received from that graduation into your current life it's not time for you to neglect everything that was presented to you in the past that 
was an accomplishment or a lesson or something that can embody you right now. It is for you to take all of that information and reflect on it. Start to really be in tune with who you are, where you are, where you've come from. None of that should be left behind. The only things that we are leaving behind are the things that cannot serve us moving forward. The things that may have stopped us or held us back at one point or another in our life. We're now um, looking at how we're able to process all of the things and the lessons that we have learned and use it as a profit for our current life. What has been successful? Where did you run into some dead ends? Like this stuff is important for you to know. And while we sit in our situations where we're still not yet manifested what we desire, this is the opportunity for you to do a thorough inventory of your life. Full, thorough, inventory of your life what was successful why was it successful what was your mindset during that time what was hard for you what what reasons was it hard how how, how easy was it for you to refresh it's time for you to go back into that and reflect on that because now that you've graduated i need you to apply the work in the field you gotta apply the work in the field and it sounds easier said than done, but there's no way you're able to apply anything to your present if you have not taken the necessary steps to sit down and give yourself the accolades that you deserve for where you are now. It, it doesn't matter. I can't say this enough. It does not matter what you're going through right now. It may feel like, oh, it's trial after trial after trial. But guess what? With each one of the trials that you have faced thus far, you passed all the tests. And then nobody told you or nobody said that as you graduate, things get easier because no, things actually get more difficult as you move up the ladder. But because you have the intellect, the knowledge, the wisdom, and that muscle, that, em excuse, I keep saying muscle, I get the muscle, yeah, but the emotional condition and the mental mindset, as you have built all of these things, guess what? It's time for you to use it. I didn't put you through that for nothing. I need you to remember all of the things that you've done, all of the things that was necessary and needed for you and to apply it now because now is the time that you can really benefit from the things that you've been through. There is going to be a new level of understanding granted to each and every one of us especially once you sit down and look at all of the accomplishments that you've been through. You've been through a lot of things, but how many of those things have you knocked out the park? Like you didn't give up, you were still breathing, you still had strength, you didn't lose your mind, you still had friends and family that didn't turn their back on you, even if you are alone and you're doing this process by yourself, that makes you that much more capable of being able to hold on to this horse. There's a new level of understanding being opened up for you. And it is very vital that you are able to receive this understanding and you receive this understanding by being able to be open to everything that is happening around you. There's going to be a final closure for the old. That's what this Pisces full moon is bringing. Final closeouts. This is like the, the final seal. It's time for you to really be expressing gratitude, being thankful for what you have, what's available to you, and not be focused on what's not available to you. What's not available to you will not serve you right now, correct? So there's no need for you to consistently be focused on the things that are not serving you in this time. It is very important that you are focused on what it is that is allowing you and enabling you to be able to push forward because pushing through these obstacles is exactly what this Pisces moon is asking you to do. And that's what spirit is asking you to do. The Pisces moon is, moon is coming to do the final closeout, the final clearing of any old baggage and processing. And should you miss this cleanse, my friends, you're going to be behind. You're going to still feel like I'm, I'm, chains are on my ankles and I'm still bound to where I am. The Pisces full moon is revealing to you, release. Stop holding on to things that are not creating success in the way in which you desire. Focus on the things that you want. 
what is happening for you? How do you see it happening for you? How does it make you feel? And all of the things that are within or around you that are not making you feel elevated on your vibration, you need to tend to those things and give those things solutions. Everything is not a problem. We hold on to things way longer than we actually should. The sun card, and I also have the full moon card came out. I was excited about that. I said, okay, speak spirit. So the sun card here is talking to you about um, radiating what you stand for and not what's standing in the way. What do you stand for? If you know what you stand for, then nothing that stands in your way can convince you otherwise. I don't care what it is, how hard it is. Only the ego and the emotional body gets consumed by things that are trying to intimidate you. Don't allow anything to intimidate you or deter you from where it is that you're going. Radiate the radiate what you stand for. And the only way you can radiate what you stand for is to know exactly what that is. What do you stand for? The full moon card says take time to relax, recharge, replenish. Oh, wait, I said it wrong. Take time to relax, recharge, and replenish your inner strength. And then you get the sun card. The sun card is talking to you about your highest qualities, your highest achievements, perceiving success and abundance, and truly just really things that are, things that raise the vibration just consistently flowing to you. That's what this is saying right here. And the connection to our power. There's a big message here about eliminating fear. You have no reason to be afraid of anything. I know transitions are not easy. They're scary. They can be very new. And learning to do something new is not easy. But eliminating fear helps you in so many ways because you're able to receive the messages in clarity. You don't have to worry about whether or not, or I wouldn't say worry about, you don't have, you won't miss the call. You can be so worried about something that it takes, it consumes your focus. And now you're unable to, anybody's unable to get to you because you're just so afraid. Release the fear. Everything is going to be okay. There is no, um, there's nothing that is going to come on your path that is going to knock you off your game. Everything with the energies that are around us, even with the planets in retrograde, they are here for us to really push us into our power. And what I will say is just slow down, slow down. Stop trying to be in a hurry. That is ego. Relax. Like it said, relax recharge and replenish and those words are coming i think of a spa i think of massages i think of all things just nice and you know sugar and spice you know so just relax spirit took the time out to really uh highlight the ten of wands the ten of wands is talking about doing too much let's talk about doing too much stop trying to do too much on your own everything is not meant for you to do that's the reason why we are overwhelmed, why we feel underachieved, why we feel like we're weighed down by our circumstances because we feel like it's in our power that everything happens, our power. And when our power seems to have failed us, then we start to get discouraged on our path. But guess what you forgot? You're only the co-creator and the co-creator does not determine every single thing. That is too much power. The universe does its part by allowing you to um, set the trajectory for how things should go. And the universe does its part by allowing the energies to flow according to your vibration. Again, when you talk about the 10 of wands, we talk about, um, being overwhelmed by the things that life is requiring from you. So you may feel like there's a lot happening all at once and it may be too much for you to like process to be able to think and understand. But guess what? This is a problem. 
This is where your problem is. You got to stop trying to bite off more than you can chew and understand that some things are in your control, some things are not in your control. And when they're not in your control, that's perfectly fine. It does not mean that there's a negative outcome. It just means that there's a higher power that has to assist you throughout this realm. This card talks about weight on our shoulders. It's talking about being weighed down by circumstance. But this card also talks about us. Um, excuse me. This card also talks about um, the quote, this too shall pass. So if you allow what's happening right now to not consume you, to keep your mind, to, to focus on the end goal only and not focus on all of the pit stops, the pit stops are just, they're necessary. You can't get around them. They're going to happen, but you have to maintain a vibration that states, hey, while this is something that I have to endure and go through, I'm going to engage in it in a way where I receive the lessons, I process the lessons, and I take these lessons moving forward so that I can have an elevated overall life. <sighs> this card also talks about purging, like I just said earlier, cleaning out that closet. It's a purging process. If you can look at your life as purging, you're purging. Right now, I'm I'm breaking out on my face. I don't like it, but I'm detoxing, removing the toxins, and this is just a part of that process. I have to go through this process. It may not look as pretty as I desire, but guess what? As long as I stick to my detox, I'm going to finally get the outcome that I desire, and that's just on periods. Um, be bold and make the first move. This card is talking about confidence. You have to be confident in the things that you are asking for, that you're wishing for. Be confident in your path, confident in your talents, confident in everything that happens in your life is redirecting you to a higher path. Uh, a cosmic switch. A cosmic, a cosmic switch is very similar to revisiting strategy. It's very similar to quantum leaping. You have to operate in a new way can't operate in the ways in which you used to operate because those ways will no longer serve you. You'll find that they will frustrate you more than anything. So be bold and make the first move. Release fear. Fear is not yours to carry. And if you find that you are fearful at any time throughout your journey, you simply release these things by writing down those fears and then reversing those fears and speaking out whatever it is you desire. I'm afraid... I'm afraid of the changes happening in my life. I am very grateful and highly thankful for all of the changes. Please provide me clarity so that I can see, hear, and know the ways in which I should move. You have to reverse, give yourself new language. Do not speak the same language. If your language has been negative over the past few years, then you have got to cold switch. Cosmic switch is happening. You are not the person who you were. You're not going to be the person who you were. So you might as well get comfortable with the being uncomfortable because there's going to come a point where you're no longer uncomfortable and you start to feel like, you know, I'm me. The next card that came out was the blue moon. Believe in the impossible. There, there, there are miracles happening around us every single day. And the only reason why these miracles never manifest in our life is because of the failure of belief. Belief happens from a subconscious mind. So what I was just speaking about, about being, um, taking, changing the language. The only way that you can change what you believe in is by redirecting the language. You may not know how to speak positively. You, all you know is negativity because all you ever dealt with was negative circumstances. You have got to become, you have to have a realization of this and follow a new path. It's not your fault that you went through negative situations, but it becomes your fault when you consistently become victim to them and allow these things to consistently happen. Nobody deserves to be in anything negative and anything negative that is happening in your life should be only strengthening you to be more positive. And positivity is not um, psyching yourself out. It's a day at a time process for you to say, okay, let me find the beauty in this. Let me find the positive in this. As a graduate of the BS, 
as a graduate of not who you used to be, you have definitely have to believe in the impossible, the impossible. I think that my whole life is impossible. If I had a look back five years, impossible for me to even be who I am thinking, how I'm thinking and moving and manifesting in the ways in which I am. I would have believed that then to be impossible, but because I did not. And I just had this inkling on the inside of me to consistently follow a path, even though I couldn't see the end. You have got to believe in the impossible. It's very important. Very important. Spirit talked to you in the beginning about keeping your focus and your mind on the things that you desire. Even if it's impossible. The spirit right here is saying be bold and make the first move and believe in the impossible. It does not matter what is being thrown at you right now. I need you to trust me. I need you to know that as I continuously keep my eye on the prize, that the prize will become mine. But you can't be greedy. You can't be in low vibrational energy expecting for something high vibrational to transform the next well the last three cards that we have this one is nothing yet it's set in stone it's basically talking about whatever is happening in your life right now is not the final destination for you and of course spirit has already told you that it's clearing out a lot of things and you have got to just chill just chill, get you some popcorn, get you some good nachos, watch you some TV, do something. But this is just a minor, this is a temporary situation. There's going to be a major comeback. And if you get tricked by everything that is happening in your life and think of it as things happening against you, then you're going to miss the whole point. And there's not going to be this miraculous manifestation that you're wishing for the content all of the goals all of the strategies that you've done so far are going to fall vain because you're going to consistently find yourself in a loop of learning how to reprocess things and the last two cards that i have here because i'm running long but spirit got some excited y'all okay um adversity hello i accept that challenges are the best way to learn and blame, I accept responsibility for my well-being. These cards are literally lit to everything that I just said. First of all, challenges come in your life to teach you how to live, how to be. There's You don't know everything. If you knew everything, you wouldn't be in an energy where you were stuck. If you were so smart, you just knew everything, you'd be able to pull yourself out of that energy. But because you've come to a stop where you need divine assistance, you have a ha you have got to allow divine assistance to intervene. And the blame card, you don't have to blame yourself for anything that happened at any point in your life. That's not on you. Now you're carrying and holding energy and vibrations within you that will not allow your mind to settle. And spirit is saying, your mind has got to be settled for what it is I'm about to do for you next. If your mind is not settled, then honey, you're going to miss the golden opportunity. And I don't want you to miss that. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Responsibility for my well-being is being able to look at my life. See the things and the ways in which I'm imposing on my life. See the ways in which spirit is asking me to release, take my hands off it, leave it alone. Stop trying to change. Stop trying to switch gears and make things, make the car go fast or in neutral. It's not going to do that. Stop trying to do all of these mundane tasks, thinking that you are changing something when this is something that has to be um Clean, it's a cleansing and purge. It has to be purged over time. But there are positive shifts in your future. The positive shifts are, are definitely in your circumstances given the adversity card. Whatever adversity that you are um, dealing with, we all deal with different types of adversities in our life. But you have got to look at everything as a... Um, it's a lesson. It's a chapter in my life. This is not the end of the book. I have so many more chapters. It's going to get good. The book gets good. Every movie has a little a little a twist to it. And that's what's happening in your life right now. And the Pisces moon is coming to cleanse. Allow her to do such. Remove all of your um fear, all of your restraints, all of your demands, and just 
Be in a place where you can engage in a different type of way, where you can update yourself. This is similar to um, all of the Apple updates where it's like, oh, the phone gonna update in the middle of the night. This is what's gonna happen. You finna get an update, you finna get an upgrade. You're gonna start seeing things completely different. You're gonna have a new epiphany towards your circumstances and your thoughts, even yourself. You'll find yourself releasing the need to want to stress, releasing the need to want to overthink. You will be more at peace and more with yourself and more communi more or go into a deeper communication with your spirit guides, your angels and your ancestors, because these are the people who you need to be like, these are your friends. These are the people who are going to be supporting you at this time. And you need to make sure that you allow them to do so with this Pisces moon. And if you made it to this part of the message, thank you so much. Sorry it was so long, but I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. And Spirit just really had to speak. And I honestly did not pull this many cards. Every time I would shuffle three, four cards will come out at a time. And typically my intuition lets me know when to take some cards and when not to. But today was one of the days where it's like, okay, I'm going to take the cards. And it never fails. All of the cards align with the message. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you're looking for something more personal, please visit mysticmelanishop.com and receive um, a, or book a reading for your specific situation. I can dig into what's happening in your life and be able to give you some insight. But until next time, bye-bye.